Hello, good morning. We are starting the show today talking about the importance of friendship. You know, over the last several months, there have been countless articles written about friendships taking a pandemic pause. So if this has happened to you, you aren't alone. Therapists say with all this mental and emotional fatigue, it is perfectly normal for some of our friendships, especially some of the newer ones, to suffer. And it's also more important than ever for us to connect with the people who remind us of who we are. Good old friends that can bring us more comfort than we might imagine. And one thing I realized is with the advent of so much technology, I've taken the opportunity to reach out to my old friends more than ever. And maybe you've done this too, but with all this time at home, it gave me the time to go through some old pictures like these. Okay, here we go. Here's one from prom night and right next to me is one of my best friends, Shilpa. Uh, we she, were 17 years old then and she's a fashion designer now. I also found this one with my best friend Sunny from oh, I don't even know how many years ago, but these pics inspired me to call them up for a fun segment to say hello for this morning's round of New Day Hot Topics. Um, my ladies, I don't think I've seen both of your faces at the same time since the day of my wedding. Yeah, that's probably It not. is crazy. <laughs> but I will say the one thing about this whole COVID experience is I feel like I have talked to you both more recently than I have in the last several years. Yeah, I think for sure. sure. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like now between COVID and because we're all locked down, the importance of friendship is just kind of really dawned on us. Hugely. And I think people, I mean, I know for me and like you and I have FaceTimed a lot, definitely exponentially more than we did before. I think people are finding other ways to connect when you can't be in person with people. So that's been kind of nice and where technology has really helped us. I think saved my sanity this year for sure. Certainly. I mean, and it's made happy hours, but she'll, like, I haven't seen you. When was the last time I saw you? I can't even remember. Uh, probably with your mom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And so, but being able to see your faces and talk to you, I feel like I have seen you. Yeah. I mean, I think for me, especially during lockdown, reconnecting with like old friends or people that you already have relationships with has been so huge. You know, like not, like, I think all the kind of like fly by the seat of your pants friends are hard to kind of keep going but like the really roots have come out for sure for me during the pandemic and it's been so nice to like be grounded 100 percent. i've noticed that too certainly um so i am grateful for both of you and i love your faces so very much um so Schultz, you i have to i have to bring this to you so because of the pandemic we are all becoming a little more casual as we dress. Yeah. So, Sonny, I don't know if I've told you this story, but 15 years ago, maybe more, Shilpa sent me a box of clothes when I was living in Bakersfield, and she said, this is the newest fashion. It's called athleisure. And I'm like, yeah, right. 15 years ago? 15 years ago. I had never heard that word until three years ago. <laughs> right? I mean, Shilpa, how have you seen this grow, especially now? Yeah, it's been crazy. I yeah, I think exactly. I was one of the probably the first to work in like really expensive sweatpants, and <laughs> people are like, "What are you doing?" Sure, um, sure. Yeah, I think the last couple of years especially have been so crazy because uh, it went from just like you know looking cute when you work out or looking cute like when you're lounging at home to pretty much the new business casual. I, people are wearing this stuff to work, to dates, uh, you know, they're off time to bar, like, especially in California, it's, you know, in our coastal cities, I think it's all day, everyday wear. So there's been a huge surge from morning to night of, of athleisure. And now with everyone working from home, I mean, maybe you have some pants on on the bottom half of your screen. Nobody knows, right? It's... <laughs> what? A uh, real quick question. Are... Um, before we get to the sweatpants that I'm not I like wearing. how you sidestepped that. Yeah, that, exactly. That was, um, very flex. All right, fine. Okay, here. Let's see. Let, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Look at this. Real. These are, <laughs> nice. these, are, these are called yoggers. Joggers. <laughs> but they're black, so it's formal yeah. and slimming. Yeah. And slimming, indeed. <laughs> okay, what are you wearing, Fleetwood, under your, on your bottoms? On my bottoms, I am wearing uh, black leggings. Okay, all right, athleisure, Shilp. 
Mm-hmm. I'm actually wearing real pants. I'm like the only one. I had a lot of meetings this morning that I had to get up and do demos for, so I, I couldn't take the risk of that the half outfit. I mean, I would think in your industry that would be acceptable, though. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I well, yeah. <laughs> Normally, I don't think I've actually worn real pants probably in seven months, so I was really scared to button them up this morning. But <laughs> they still fit. <laughs> I love it. And you, um, and I have to just give you props because this, you've got it right behind you, Nayali, this company that you created yourself many years ago. Give us a brief description about that because I'm just so proud thank of you. my friend. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I was an, a designer in the activewear industry for over 14 years. And then I'm just a bustier woman and super active. I started doing my first tries. And there's nothing that actually fit and supported bustier women. So I created Nayali to support women A to G cup and really offer support, adjustability and function for in a cute silhouette uh, for women of all sizes. It's truly a labor of love. We all understand the importance for supportive nature undergrounds. Yes. Sunny's just shaking her head. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> You've seen it too many times when we've gotten dressed together. To go to <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. prom, one of them, Mexico no. <laughs> trips, on and on and on. We don't need to get into that. Um, all right, Sunny, so, th- okay, there's a possible option for, for Christmas for you. I'm sending you Nayali. But you yeah. have a gift that caused kind of a stir um, when we were talking to your sister and oh, some of yeah, your yeah. friends. Mm-hmm. Ashley was all about it, but there's a gift yeah. that I think is awesome it might be a little frivolous, but I think it's the gift to give a woman who has everything. The beauty fridge. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely trending. There are TikTok videos where people show what's in their fridge and everything. It's just kind of like a little tiny refrigerator that you put your serums and masks and stuff in. So it makes them cold and they it feels nicer and supposed to be better for your skin. But who knows if that's really true. I keep my jade roller in there because you know I'm getting Ooh. older and that helps the puffiness in the morning. You can edit that part out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's fun and uh, it just sits under my vanity and has my little, my things in it. I, okay, I love it. So when I asked you to explain it to me, she I go, hey, how big is it? And she showed me, it's about the size of her hand. So it's not oh. huge. Okay. Yeah, it's tiny. Like not and even her- bottles will fit in there. It's really <laughs> And it actually, because I actually keep my nail polish in my fridge, yeah, and too. I can't tell you how many times my mm-hmm. Chris has opened the fridge and the nail polish flies out, and it's it's nice. It's Dior, okay? <laughs> and Chris is like, why is there nail polish in the fridge? So I actually, frankly, think it's a genius idea. So, I mean, do you think um, do you think you'll be getting one? Maybe we'll get one for for Chetna. Oh, yeah, she would love it. Actually, I think that's a great idea because I do a lot of like natural masks with like yogurt and stuff. I think that's awesome yeah. not to have it with your food, you know, like just to have it where you can access it, not go down to the to the kitchen all the time to grab your stuff. That's great. Yeah, See? Amity, maybe you need two. You need one for your serums and lotions and a yeah. separate one and it'll be your nail polish fridge. Love it. That's genius. That's genius. Can you talk to the husband for me? All right, so there's an idea for you. Beauty fridge. I love these ladies, but we're not done with Hot Topics yet. We're also going to be chatting about hot chocolate charcuterie and thoughts on the upcoming COVID vaccine. You're going to be interested in the twist that comes up, so stick around for that. And that's not all we have in store for you this morning. Later in the show, our buddy Terry Holloman is joining us for Hawk Zone and a breakdown of Sunday's upcoming game against the New York Giants. And it's time for a little more good news. We're going to introduce you to a Christmas tree farmer who is really doing his part to spread the holiday cheer. We'll be right back. Tonight, the voice celebrates the holidays with a star studded night of performances. The voice holiday celebration tonight on NBC. This year, people have lost their minds. The case that has captivated the world. Wild sex torture. She kept bringing random guys home. She was alive when they put her in that freezer. Muggleshoot Casino is your destination for more than 3,000 gaming machines, action-packed table games, and the largest smoke-free area in the state. Plus, a newly remodeled casino floor and new center bar. Muggleshoot Casino. 
Evergreen Health Medical Group is a physician-led group of more than 330 doctors. For EHMG, your care is our calling. When I became a patient myself at Evergreen Health, my experience showed me that this is where I belong. It's a place where I can make a difference that truly cares. Being a doctor is my calling. Being an EHMG physician lets me live my purpose. Visit evergreenhealth.com EHMG to learn more. Is your basement wet, damp, or musty? Are you experiencing basement flooding or drainage issues? Don't let your drainage problem become a foundation problem. Call Robbins & Company today at 206 Robbins. Robbins and Company, R-O-B-B-I-N-S. Welcome back, and as promised, our hot topics continue right now with my dear friends, Sunny and Shilpa. Let's move on to um, charcuterie boards. Are you into this? I actually, I make a main charcuterie board. I know, Shelf, you don't eat meat. Yeah. But, like, you probably do a veggie charcuterie yeah. board. Yeah. I've been super into, like, boards and with dips. I think there's, like, I didn't, re I didn't, we didn't grow up with that, so I didn't know that was, like, a thing. And I'm like, oh, you just arrange things in a beautiful way on a board, and that's, like, half your meal. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I working so hard? I mean, okay, so what about a hot chocolate one? Is that over the top? No. I love this idea. I put, since you said it a few minutes ago, I've been trying to think of what all would be on the board. I mean, obviously marshmallows. Mm. Uh, I would do like- Candy canes. Crumbled up candy yeah. canes. Different types of melting chocolates, like maybe like different like crafts of different milks, like all yeah. milks. Like milks. Oh, see, mm. the designer knows what's up. Oh, what about um, like, like Irish cream? Oh, yeah, alcohol, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Who turned you into my mother? <laughs> it would be an honor to be Mimi. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, so next topic is, you were mentioning TikTok earlier, Sunny, about you know people sharing their beauty fridges. But people have also been sharing their vaccine stories. Yeah, so people who participated in these trials, they're sharing their vaccine stories to kind of debunk any myths. What are your feelings on the vaccine right now? Well, I got the vaccine. I have had one of two shots. I wait. didn't know I was supposed to make a TikTok video. You got the COVID wait, vaccine? Yeah, wait, what? I did. <laughs> yeah. How did you, like, you yeah. failed to tell me that? I've been a health reporter for five years and you just failed to tell me you got the <laughs> COVID vaccine. I signed, I signed up for the trial, yeah, a couple months ago, and it was supposed to be, um, they put me in the Moderna trial, and then that got halted or, you know, on hold. They all do, yeah. Yeah, because um, somebody got transverse myelitis. They couldn't prove that it was from the vaccine, but whatever. So they halted that for a little bit, and then a couple weeks ago, I got a call saying they were starting AstraZeneca, and was I still interested? And, you know, I'm fairly wow. young and you know healthy and i figured why not you're just gonna get all the vaccines then I'm just yeah just give me a shot <laughs> i feel like i don't even know you i can't believe you didn't tell me this <laughs> well, you I certainly didn't get it because i know you would have told me yeah i definitely did not i hear about the vaccine every day because my dad sits next to me now uh, and he's like really into the stock prices of the these companies but yeah. i haven't gotten yeah, I would be open to the idea, but I feel like there's not enough information yet. Um, so I'd still want to know some more before I would probably be ready for that. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I'm over here Definitely. like, all right. You, go, you got, you're, you're ready? I am ready. I think so. I, I do believe in the science of it. I, I think those are, they're both really great pharmaceutical companies who yeah. have a proven history of science. So I'm, I think I'm ready. All right. Well, um, I, ladies, that's all we got to talk about. I love your faces and I'm so, <laughs> so happy I got to see you. So huge thanks again to Sunny and Shulpa for joining me during my first week of hosting New Day.